cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Uh, don't cry. <laughs> How's it going everybody? My name is Swanee and welcome back to another video. Guys, last episode was pretty damn good. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot to theorize on or to recap on. It was pretty much a finisher, right? So I'm going to recap just a little bit and then I'm going to get right in. One being the explosives in the mouth. The Rod Race Titan ended up creeping up really close to the walls, put his hand up, and Aaron was able to take a whole bunch of explosives and shove them down the throat. Uh, it's classic cinema moment where the big bad monster can't be hit from the outside so you have to take it out from within and Aaron did just that. The chunks exploded and went all over the place. Historia got the finishing blow on Rod which was very poetic, very sweet. Uh, she had her moment. Very strong character development for Historia. Uh, she's really been stepping up these last few episodes which have been really nice to see. And my last note being Kenny. So is Kenny going to take the injection? And in my opinion, I don't think so. And I'm, I don't think so for four reasons. My first reason being, it's not the cowboy style, right? Going out in the flames of glory, uh, being a dumb titan, roaming around, I don't feel like is Kenny's speed. I don't think it's his style. So that's my first reason. My second reason being that the chances of finding an intelligent titan are extremely low. He was planning on eating Eren and now he can no longer do that. So he can't even complete his dream. And my fourth reason being that in his conversation with Rod, He's big on living, right? And as a dumb titan, that's not that's not living, and I don't think I don't think he'd want to do that. And my last reason, which isn't a huge reason, but Levi would just have to chop him down, right? He turns into a dumb titan. Levi doesn't really have any other choice. I mean, what if he lets him go? Then maybe down the line, another Survey Corps member chops him down. You know what I'm saying? It just I don't think I don't think Kenny's gonna take it, and if he does, it's just to save himself. But damn, I really don't. I think Kenny's a pretty logical guy. He's made it this far uh, with his circumstances. I don't think he's going to inject. With all that being said, I think that's a perfect segue to get into the episode. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, a little Kenny flashback. Man, the eyes. So sick. Yuri. And Rod. Mm. Yeah, because the Ackerman and the Oriental can't be controlled. Oh my god. He wasn't even phased. Wow, I'm so glad we get to see this. Wow. Wow. Kyojin ni mo dogi mo nukareta ga. Sore ijou ni jibun no naka no nani ka ga. Ogi ku yurai da no ka. Yuri kind of reminds me of Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, which also makes sense for Rod to say that, you know, he was like God. Go shite akka man kei no hakugai wa uatta. Interesting. Okay. Oh, this is the brothel. Oh. Yeah, she looks really sick. Oh, she's dead? Okay. Wow. 
Wow. Oh. Look at him. レガタミはそれだけだった。こいつを見殺しにできるほど人を捨ててねえが、親に変われるほどできた。That's Kenny style, right? But he's got a heart, you know. 仕方、身の振り方とナイフの振り方。Kenny would be really cool, dad or an uncle. 生き延びる術を教え。行けばいい。He looks so much better. I see this is where it began. Sonus. Wow, he looks young. Wow. So Levi's been able to kick ass for a while. <laughs><笑> その罠かな人類の黄昏に私は楽。うん。滅ぼし合う他なかった我々を友人にしたものは一体なんだ。暴力か。Damn, that's a really good point. Very, very good point. それこそ友人手洗いになる前によ。but you know what's that saying it's like that saying that's you know I want to become the strongest not so that I can hurt people but that way I don't have to right I think that's like what Yuri did like you know he easily could have murked them easily could have squashed them so he was you know the strongest is what Kenny said which is the goal right like you don't lift weights at the gym to become strong so you can beat someone up right you become strong at the gym that way you don't have to right if someone someone doesn't challenge you or if they do challenge you and not have to I guess what Kenny would have done violently kill someone it makes sense mm, this is when Freda ate him wow <laughs> Probably. Oh. Did Kenny? Oh. So Kenny? So Kenny wanted to become the founding titan so he could be like Yuri? Oh, that's so nice. I bet from that first meeting, you know, Kenny has never met anyone like that. Someone who's so strong yet. You know, they're so pure. I guess Kenny just wanted to be like that too. Oh. Kenny just wants to be like Okay. So this is how he gets the squad. Okay. Can he just wanted to feel compassion? It's actually an admirable dream. I thought Kenny would just want to use it for violence, but quite the opposite. Wow.
それを打つ時間も体力も。うん。It's true。と、やってられなかったから。みんな。何かの奴隷だった。うん。バカがただの兄貴だ。Oh man. You lived a good life, Kenny. It was good. Everyone's taking a good w o r It's, uh, that's satisfying. It was her idea. Oh, massive, massive brain. What are they? Just... <laughs> oh, my God. And Levi gets his closure? Ugh. Damn. So, okay, so they know each other. Okay, all right, so that's definitely not Erwin's dad. Okay, so at the end of season two, I kind of got the grasp that, you know, Bert and Reiner were trying to get Aaron, right? He's, you know, they said he was the coordinate, they're trying to get him. But the Beast Titan is too. Ymir said that they were working together and they didn't deny it. So I just assumed that they were. They definitely are. That's not Erwin's dad. Okay, sorry if I just was not reacting a whole lot this episode. Dude, I was just so invested into the backstory and my heartstrings were being pulled. I just, you know, I really didn't want to talk and say some bullshit over Kenny's dying breaths and dying words.、Uh, I really just kind of wanted to take it all in because he was such a good character. And Levi got his closure, you know, like that, like that's so. When Levi was talking to Historia, when she, you know, came to punch him, he was smiling, like he got his closure, he figured out he was an Ackerman. Yeah, I guess it was just closure, and I feel like he needed that. I feel like Levi's just had a chip on his shoulder for so long, and, you know, Levi's backstory with him growing up, it was really sad.、Um, 
yeah, it was just all, oh, it was just a beautiful moment. I can't even think right now. Uh, but yeah, Levi got his closure. Historia is queen. Props to my girl. You know, she, uh, she had a great idea. I did not think, you know, I thought that, I thought Historia wanted her poetic ending, but it was actually a lot more than that. She was the one who gave the idea to Erwin that she should deal the final blow. Then it would unite the people and it would actually reinforce her position as queen. Uh, which was, you know, massive brain. And now that she's queen, also the fact that she just wanted to punch Levi, right? I get that Levi could be intimidating and, you know, the crew looks up to him and he can be a hard ass. So now that she's queen, he can't do anything about it. I thought that was a pretty cute moment. Yeah, it was very poetic, very good. And it all worked out uh, quite the gamble and we pulled it off. Survey Corps wins. Very, very satisfying. Loved it. Loved that episode. But yeah, I really don't have anything else more than that. There's really no other theories uh, other than... You know, there at the end with, with the Beast Titan, Reiner, and Bert. But yeah, I don't think I have anything else. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It'd be greatly appreciated. I have the full reaction on Patreon, and I have a Discord. Both of those links will be in the description below. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys all have a good one.